Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and I uh, really do appreciate you uh, stopping by. If this is your first time, I hope you decide to like and subscribe and click the notification bell so that you can be notified whenever I upload a new video. Uh, and for everyone who's already currently subscribing, thank you so much. I really do appreciate that. Um, as you saw from the title of the video, uh, this is a haul video for the Operation Christmas Child Samaritan's Purse Ministry um, Christmas Boxes. I uh, was going to do a shop with me, and I went into Dollar Tree, and everything's changed in just a week. And I will be doing a separate video and commentary on that, but I couldn't do a shop with me. I was too shocked and too upset um, because what the news was reporting and what the news articles were saying about the price increases that were coming, which by the way, I was told it was supposed to be the beginning of the year, not now in November. Um, basically there was false things that were said and I was too upset to do a shop with me. So I was like, okay, so we're going to hit this. I first wanted to show you if you don't get the red and green uh, boxes that Samaritan's Purse puts out, they basically come flattened. Like you can go to their website and I'll have it linked below. Um, actually, it might be a little too late to order them now. You have to have ordered them already because we need to get these boxes turned in by November the 15th. And you should be able to look up in your local area to find out um, where the drop-off site is. Usually um, we have a church in our local area that's a, that's a um, designated drop-off place. And it's not one. There's usually several places where you can take them. So I would really look into seeing, looking up in your local area where you can take your Operation Christmas Child Boxes. Our church was a designated drop-off place before, and then we would take it to the place that would then take it to the warehouse where it would be shipped. <laughs> so I went to Walmart. I'm not doing this many, but these are the shoe boxes that are acceptable. It is the the set of 10, six quart, five by seven liters, 14 length by eight inch wide by four and seven eighths inches high. Okay, so that's the size shoe box. The, the dollar store has carried them. I'm sure Target has them as well. This was 10 for about $10 and a little bit of change. So these were a little more than a dollar a piece. That's your better value than the $1.25 you're going to pay now in the Dollar Tree. So I do recommend checking out Walmart to get these. If you're going to do these, I'm only going to need... Um, a couple of these because I have the red and green boxes downstairs that Samaritan's Purse sends out. Our church had ordered a big stack of them. Now, I'll start off with the wow present. Um, Samaritan's Purse always asks that you put a, you know, a high quality, it doesn't necessarily mean to be expensive, but a high quality toy. That could be a stuffed animal it could be a Barbie doll. It could be a deflated soccer ball that you include a pump with. And I know that you can get those at um, Ollie's, at Target, at Walmart. Any of those places will have a, you know, a baby doll. Ollie's outlet, they've got the, the baby alive little dolls like this for like $4.98. So what we bought, we were in Walmart. And I picked up, because I my granddaughter did one. I'm going to put it together for her. But she went shopping with me and picked out the things that she wanted to put in her box specifically. So I picked up one of these ballerina Barbies. They were less than $5. I want to say it was $4.97. And then I picked up this Princess Barbie. Um, this also was $4.97. And she's got a crown and a cute little skirt. The bodice is molded as is the bodice for the ballerina. The skirt comes off here and her skirt comes off as well. And it looks like the her shoes are molded on her feet with pink tights and her shoes are removable. Very cute shoes. All right. And she's got a crown on her head as well. Okay. And my granddaughter picked out this one, this cute little mermaid. Barbie, I want to say she was in the same price range, $4.87 or $4.94. So this is the Hair Amazing Mermaid. 
and I'm not sure what she comes with. I will be removing them from their packaging before I pack them in the boxes. That makes it possible for you to pack more in. So when you take remove them from the packaging, I may have picked up too many items, so not everything might make it in. But we also picked up three rulers. These were on clearance for 75 cents. And so I picked those up. They're flexible. That'll be handy for their schoolwork. I did pick up, these are also at Walmart. I did pick up three boxes of the 24 crayons. That is going to be handy for their um, school supplies as well. And let's see. I picked up three packs of the fine tip uh, markers, 10 of them. I'm going to take these out of their packaging if I need to, uh, just to make sure that um, everything fits properly. But the school supplies and the art supplies, I will not keep any of those things out. And we did pick up, and the, these will be removed from their packaging as well, these adorable, hair amazing, I think there's a princess fairy, hair amazing princess fairy, she's really cute, she's tiny, and then I believe I picked up, yep, two of the mermaids, my granddaughter picked one, they had a couple of styles, I think these were the two that I saw, so I picked up one of each, and then she wanted one as well, and so these are going to go, they'll be removed from their packaging and put into the container. And I'm pretty sure that's all I picked up from the from Walmart. In the Dollar Tree, I picked up three of these bottles. I like it because this part removes. It's if you're getting these for your kids, snack here, drink here. But I'm going to fill these things with items so that I can get more into the container. So this is going to get filled up. I picked up three of these. So we have blue, red, and orange. So each box is going to get one of these, and I'm going to load these up with as much as I can. Okay. Uh, my granddaughter picked up a headband with pearls. I didn't get one of these. Oh, this was a Walmart item. No, no, this was a Dollar Tree item. I thought that was pretty. And so we're going to put that in her, the box for her, for her girl. I picked up three of these uh, tablets of paper. I believe there's writing paper, there's writing paper and construction paper. Okay. I was hoping to find some of the smaller uh, tablets of paper that were three in a pack in the Dollar Tree, and I could not find them. So they're going to each get a pack of these. Okay. And I did find this eight pack of Play-Doh that has a mold on the top. So I'm thinking I'm going to put two cans into each box, which will leave me two additional cans as an extra. My ladies group is meeting tonight, and I may just use one can of each and then use the rest for someone to put into their box as an extra. And I don't mind donating those things as well. I did pick up these two ended colored pencils. So you're getting um, two colors per pencil. Uh, I thought this was a really good value. And so there's that. I got three of those. I did pick up three of the compressed washcloths. My, I see, I picked up this one, and of course when you open these, and that'll go, this is part of the hygiene items that I've provided. My granddaughter picked Mulan and Ariel, so we're going to put these in the um, box as well. That's, that's something that will definitely go in. And then I did pick up three of these little gals because I think she's adorable and she's tiny and she's got a little clip on here. I'm going to do my best to include her in the kit. If not, then I, if she doesn't fit because they're, I'm the, the main dolls going in and the school supplies are going in, 
and everything else I'm going to see what fits. I always get more than I need, but then I will be able to help other people, you know, add some things to it. These I thought were precious and they're little, just a cute little thing. They can either play with it or clip it somewhere. Okay. And then I did find, let me see, because not everything got put in the same bag and I want to kind of show them together. Okay, let's see here. All right. These will be removed from their packaging as well because I want to see if I can, because they're getting a Barbie, we figured Barbie would need some pets. And so each one is going to get some little animals with a carrier and then the dish. I think I can get all that stuff in there tape it together, you know, so one for each box, okay, and then I did, I got these, because little girls like cars too, these will be removed from the packaging, this may be one of the things that I put inside the drink bottle, they're tiny little cars that are just cute, and so I'm like, like I said, I know I bought a lot and I'm not sure all of it will fit, but I'm going to do my best. Now, my granddaughter picked this out at the Dollar Tree that will go in her box as well. So I'm not sure what will go in there. But if we have to hold back, this might be something I hold back. I'm not sure yet, but there's that. I did pick up two sets of the Disney Princess playing cards. These are good. These I'm definitely going to make fit because that's good for counting numbers. And I just, I enjoy the, they can do other things aside, uh, aside from playing toys with it. Made that there. I picked out three color activity books. I was looking for the ones that are half this size, but they didn't have any. My granddaughter picked this one. So that's going to go in her book, but there's got a lot of beautiful images in there for the whoever gets this to color. And I have other color books here that I could donate. There's a frozen one, and then there's the uh, strawberry shortcake. I love soccer. These are really cute. They're easy. I usually put these on the top, kind of in the box. You'll see because I'm going to pack a box while we're up here and show you how I put them together. I also picked up... My daughter picked out, I mean, my granddaughter picked out a sparkle brush, so her box is getting that. And then I picked up this pack of combs, and I'm going to pick the biggest combs that are in here. This one, and probably one of these to go into the box for my child. Um, I also picked up, these will stay in their packaging because the packaging isn't that cumbersome, but I might remove these these cute little octo bubble so these are those little bubble toys i got a blue one purple one blue purple and these pop toys and they're the perfect size i felt and there's that opening there so you could put them in a way so that you know something goes inside I thought that was neat. I picked up these mermaid tail sequin zipper pouches. I think these are a pencil pouch. So I'm going to see which of the pencils can fit inside here, which would be pretty good. See what I can fit in here because that's a cute little fun thing for them. Whoever it is, I, we got some clips and I'm probably going to divide these up. Actually, my granddaughter picked these out, so I'm going to put these in her box. Those aren't the ones I'm dividing up. We did get a pack of socks, three pairs of socks. So each box is going to get a pair of socks. Ducks, stripes, or the yellow, and then the stripes. Okay. I picked up a three-pack of toothbrushes and the toothbrush covers for the bristles. Obviously, we're going to break these apart so that they're divided and there will be one extra one. I also picked up the crayon, the plastic, hard plastic crayon box. This will allow for if that cardboard deteriorates because it's cardboard, they at least will have a hard case where they can preserve their crayons. 
Okay, and I also picked up for each one, I thought it'd be a neat little backpack thing, the Juncture Drawstring um, Backpack type thing. These are flat, they're gonna fold very easily, and this will give the child something that they can store their things in. Okay, let's see. Now, I picked up in a previous haul, <clears throat> the Barbie shoes and the Barbie accessories here. Uh, since one of the Barbies... Oh, I'm sorry. That's my notifications. I forgot to turn them off. I might give an extra accessory to the ballerina. Uh, we'll see how this goes, but I'm going to divide these up. Okay. And then I had some things on hand. I went through my stash because y'all know I have office supplies up the wazoo because I always overbuy. These dresses, of course, are going to go in for the two Barbies that I purchased. And these are the school supplies that I have. Oh, and I also will be dividing these up. These will go in the drink containers as well. There's a hundred in there. So I can easily divide that up 33 per little container because there's three of them. Okay. So I had this on hand. I got these. I'm going to divide these up. I also had some Crayola pencil toppers. Uh, these will probably be extras for the gals that are coming tonight. And I did have two of the Crayola pencil and crayon sharpeners. These are going to go in mine. And I'm hoping somebody is bringing some extra pencil sharpeners because one of the boxes is not. I know I've got to have another one around here somewhere. I know I do. I must. But... Anyway, these are going to go in there because they're going to be able to use them. I also had some of these sticky notepads. I'm going to stick a pack of those in one into each. I figured that'll be a fun little piece of paper. Anything school school wise, I know will be appreciated by them. I had some glue sticks, and so each box is going to get two glue sticks. Uh. Safety scissors. I had a 12 pack of soap in my that I bought at Walmart. And so each is going to get a bar of soap. And then I had all these pencils. I tell you, I overbuy. Um, each box is going to get two blue pens, two black pens. And then I have these Ticonderoga pencils. I'm looking at probably they should get four of these number two pencils a piece. And so that's going to be a nice kickoff for the school supplies. All right. So let me turn this. Oh, and I've got some Kleenex here too. I'm going to put a pack of those in there with each one as well. So now let me get organized here. Okay, I've kind of gotten myself slightly organized, not as organized as I'd like to be, but let me start by first removing this Barbie from her box. She's very pretty, very simple. This comes off. Okay, all right. We're gonna put her in there. All right, I hope this ruler fits. It does. Good. Okay, this deck of cards can go here. Here's my mermaid tail. This I'm gonna leave like this and because it's flat. But let me go ahead and open these up so I can put, well, she's not gonna be able to wear shoes. So I think I'm going to put this in the other container with the princess doll so she'll have other shoes to wear. And I think I'm going to give this accessory pack to this one. But this might be bulky, so I'm just going to take these things off of this. And remove these things and stick them inside the plastic oops dropped one she's 
She's got those molded ballerina feet, so she's not going to be able to wear any other shoes. So there, that's an executive decision. Okay. Let me give her a pair of socks. I think I'll give her the yellow ones. It's these right here. I don't worry too much about the size of things because I know all of that will work out. I'm going to put the crayons inside the dollar store crayon box. That's another. Some tissue. And as I'm putting these things in, I may decide, like, you know what, that's not working. Let me try another configuration. Okay. I've taken her out of her package, and we can stick her there. Let's put her here. Let's put the washcloth right there. I may need to I may need to put this on the bottom. Give her two combs just because they can be used for different things and there will be extra combs for someone i'm going to fold this up into thirds and then just see if i can that up nice and as flat as I can get it. Okay. Some of these flat things. Now this, I think this box is too big. I can put those along the side. I'm really hoping that mermaid tail um, zipper pouch holds the pencils. Pins. And they don't. It's all right. They can go in there loosely. You can use that for whatever she wants. I can put the glue sticks and the scissors in there. That I know will fit. And then anything else, the uh, pencil sharpener can go in there as well as the scissors. All of those things. It inside the glue sticks, scissors, and pencil sharpener. Okay, you've got pens and pencils, pencil sharpener. This all might fit, you guys. Let me grab her toothbrush. Now, I usually do a lot more boxes. I wasn't able to do as many as I normally do. I've, I've gone into Dollar Tree and have, or not Dollar Tree, Walmart, and have picked up um, one of those 10 packs of princess dolls. You know the ones I'm talking about. They are the Walmart brand. Oops, excuse me. The Walmart brand dolls, and it's 10 in a pack for like 20 bucks. I mean, really a good value. All right, I have put the toothbrush into the toothbrush holder. Remember, no toothpaste, no liquids, no lotions or anything like that are allowed 
because um, they could melt and kind of maybe ruin some of the, uh, okay. Sorry if I bumped the camera again. I told you I was not quite as organized as I wanted to be, so. Need five more. So one, two, three, four, five. Not bad. All right, I'm gonna stick those in here. In this bottom section. Uh, if you had clips, paper clip, not clips or anything like that to go in there, barrettes, those could go in there also twist that shut. I may still stick something else in there. And let me actually, you know what? Geez, I may have to stick. That should have been a, a wider open. Let me put these in here because they'll be easier to get in and get out. And I can stick the erasers in there too. The extra erasers. And I think I could probably get, we'll try it. We'll see what fits in there and what, what what I won't be able to get out. I hope they don't have a dickens of a time getting this stuff out of here. Well, note to self, I thought it was a wider open. I wasn't even paying attention. Oh my gosh. I hope that's not a problem for them. All right, let me open the, or where did I put the erasers? I'll open these then and stick a bunch of these in there for the pencil tops. These, the Crayola brand are really good. Not, I'll stick them loose in there, but these are super cute. I think. Oh, they fit. They all fit. Nope, that one won't go. Nope, that one's a little tight. This one might. Yeah, he fits. Let me get these. These will go down into the side of the box, right there. I don't want it to be hard for them to get these things out, so, okay. Grab one of these pink erasers and I think I can fit that in here. Any nook and cranny and then this I'm gonna have to figure out where to put that up oh, let's get a couple of cans of play-doh these are the small cans so they have little things on top 
Make sure I can fit this in. No, that's not going to stay that way, guys. And then let me see what I can do with these. Oh, there we go. I'll stick one can of Play-Doh there. Is the kitty going to fit? Kitty will fit. Kitty will fit. Okay. I have a little carrier and the dish. Okay, let's close this up. All right. And now let's see what I have. Oh, and I also have the color book that I am going to put in over the top this way. So it should be able to close pretty well. So let me see how I can rearrange some of these things to get that bottle in here. I want to say goodbye to school supplies. Put down at the corner. And there you go. I will probably put some rubber bands around this as well, just to make sure. And then I can look, I can repack this later if I'm seeing little spaces here and there that I could put something in to make sure it's packed better. But there you go, an Operation Christmas Child box. And again, I'll probably take this out and rearrange it. Everything though fits into this box. I can arrange it a little bit better, I know I can. <laughs> But I hope that's given you some inspiration on what it is you can do. You have until November the 15th to put together one of these boxes. That'll be such a blessing. There's hygiene items, there's school supplies, and there are toys, things that they will enjoy um, and that will help them in school and it'll be a blessing to them. So thank you for spending a little time with me today. I hope this inspires you to go out and make a difference. My granddaughter wanted to do this herself and I thought that was a good thing for a child to be thinking of another child during the holidays. So thanks again for spending a little time with me. Bye until next time.